Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me Swastika and in this video we would be discussing the reasons why women have to become financially independent in 2021. So guys, this is a topic which is also very close to my heart because I strongly believe that women whether they're married, whether they're single, regardless of the men in their lives, should definitely empower themselves financially. So guys, this video is going to be divided into several parts. In the first part of the video, I will be discussing the concept of financial independence and how that translates for women. So guys, the number that you need to achieve, the monetary figure that you need to achieve before you become financially independent is what I'm going to discuss in the first part of the video. In the second part of the video, I will be discussing the impact of one of the most unprecedented and important events of 2020 that shook humanity as a whole and left us all startled, that is coronavirus. So I will be discussing the impact of COVID on women and how that basically hampers their financial security, how women now have to do more unpaid labor, almost three times more unpaid uh, labor and care at home and still be at the mercy of um, abusers and people who basically practice domestic violence against women. Right. So that is basically going to constitute the second part of this video. And the third part of this video, I am going to basically put together all the reasons why women should actually become financially independent and 2021 is the right year to get started on this goal. Okay, so guys, but before I move on, I do request you to please press the subscribe button in case you haven't already. Let's get into the crux of the matter and let's try to figure out the reasons why women should become financially independent and 2021 is the right year to get started on this goal. Okay, so guys, the first thing I want to discuss with you is the meaning of the term financial independence. So basically, if you define it in very simple words, financial independence means simply means the status of having enough income that you are in a position to basically pay for your own expenses, take care of your own living cost. So the day you have enough corpus in the bank to sort of ensure your financial independence, which basically means that after there is a certain corpus in the bank, you don't need to uh, worry about uh, your future, your 10 years of future and that is basically what we call financial independence, right? So it's like a it's like a saving that you have to do. So you have to work, work, work for a couple of years before you reach that number. And that number in India, uh, when you sort of become financially independent, is touted to be somewhere around four crores, right? Uh, so if you manage to save up that much money for yourself, that would immediately imply that you are now financially independent because you can take care of yourself despite inflation, despite the rising cost of living, you would be in a position to take care of yourself. So at that number, if you reach that number, which is touted to be around four crores in India, you would become financially independent. Okay, but guys, there are a lot of issues. So the thing is that even if you manage to make four crores, right, uh, it's a very uneven playing field out there. It's uneven because so women are basically paid less at work and it's the amount that women are paid for doing the same amount of work as men, be it your corporate houses, even be it the government sector where men are actually given promotions earlier and faster than women who are doing the same kind of work, leads to a change in the dynamic. And this basically skews the entire uh, system in favor of men. And okay, and after that, what happens is the corpus that you end up saving for your retirement for females. So it's like if, if a female works for 20, 25 years and she manages to have a like a bank account balance, a corpus, it is still going to be significantly lesser than a man's. 
right so that is one of the first reasons why there is sort of an unequal playing field as soon as you enter uh, the market the second thing that I basically wanted to discuss in this video is going to be the impact that coronavirus has had um, on women. And I feel this is something which is very, very important and it needs to be put out very clearly, very sharply out there because it's been almost one year in March April 2021, we would be finishing with one year of a lockdown, one year of life in a curfew. And for women, this has significantly been a bad uh, turn of events. I'm saying that because even National Commission for Women uh, last year itself had declared that there has been a significant increase in the number of distress calls that they have been getting from women in terms of women facing domestic violence, uh, domestic harassment and all of these things. And this has significantly increased during the lockdown. So you may ask yourselves, why has uh, there been an increase in in like domestic violence against women uh, in lockdown? That's in a lot of the cases, that is because women face harassment, they face violence, um, from abusers, from people, from men who live within their own family. So because of that, because of that very reason, there is a sharp increase in domestic violence that women are facing in their homes. And this is basically leading to a deteriorating condition for women. So guys, also, as soon as the coronavirus lockdown occurred as soon as we had uh, the lockdown and one year after it we are seeing a very very bad state of affairs at the ground level and i'm saying that because um women are now doing three times more unpaid labor than they used to earlier right so this means that because everyone all five people are staying at um in their homes a uh, woman are actually having to do more care and more unpaid labor for all the people who are staying in their house right and this automatically translates to emotional to economic to financial distress okay so the reason i'm saying that is because even gdp even in the gdp when you look at the gross domestic product of a country um everything gets counted right whatever labor that men do whatever work that men do gets a count gets a figure but uh whatever work that women do uh, in their homes at uh, in terms of care in terms of domestic labor gets completely ignored so that number that uh that care that labor does not have any value even in economic terms and this automatically translates into financial distress for women so the point i'm trying to make here in very simple words is that because of the lockdown we are seeing that homes that were like if it's a house you're automatically thinking that yes it's a safe space i'm safe here and this is my space to be whoever i want to be right but in for women it's different because because of the lockdown, because they have to live with their abusers in the private space, even houses have become uns unsafe spaces. And in a lot of these situations, the women are not earning any money because the unpaid labor, the unpaid work that women do in their houses has no economic monetary compensation. So this automatically leads to financial distress for women and in a lot of the situations the only way for females to escape the situation is to start earning and is to become financially independent and this is one of the reasons why i feel that in 2021 each and every one of the females out there should in fact become uh like absolutely financially independent should start earning because that is really going to help you that is really going to help you escape your situation if you have a corpus if you have an amount saved up for you yes it is going to be significantly lesser but even if you start today it's really going to help you in the long term so you should definitely start looking at things like mutual funds at sips and start exploring that domain right 
the second okay so the second part of this video i'm just going to uh, talk about the reasons why uh you should become financially independent. Of course, there is a need for it. The need is that in the private sphere, women are, of course, doing more domestic work. They're doing more domestic labor. At the same point of time, they're facing um, abuse and domestic violence from their husbands, from the men in their lives. And all of this, this is basically leading to a financial distress. Secondly, if we talk about the public realm, as I've already stated in the beginning of the video, over there also, um, in workspaces also, in the public realm also, uh, there is a, it's it's like a gendered um, playing field, right? Because uh, even in like w places where women and men are working at equal positions, are doing the same things, be it the private or be it the government sector. In the private sector, of course, there are going to be unequal wages. Women are going to get paid significantly lesser for the same tasks that like men are doing. And in your government spaces, men are actually given faster promotions, right? So this automatically skews the balance in favor of men and and because of that, it becomes even more important for you to become financially independent, right? So these were the two things that I wanted to discuss, um, the private sphere and the public sphere and how in both of these spheres, there is a delegation, there is a subjugation of women, which automatically translates into the need of there being financial security, the need for women to become financially independent even more. Okay, so the third thing that I want to say, and these are some of the less complicated points of this video. This is something that every video that has ever been made on financial independence says, but I'm just going to put it out um, again. So this basically means that if there is a preemptive emergency in your house, like, uh, so if your husband is the primary breadwinner and if something happens to him, then who is going to take care of like the three and four people. So even for that very reason, it's very important for women to keep earning. Even if you are not facing domestic abuse, even if you are not facing domestic violence, domestic harassment, um, if you are not uh, facing the gendered impact of COVID and if you are not even facing discrimination in the public sphere, it is still very important for you to put your um, amount of money and savings that you've earned out there because what if there's an emergency what if something goes wrong right so of course this is going to be the third point the fourth point is going to be to stop feeling dependent on the men in your lives right so you should const you should constantly feel that you know if you need to go out you need to buy something and um you constantly have to ask your husband or your father or the men in your life for money, then that's a very bad position that you are placing uh, yourself on because you are basically dependent on like the men in your lives to buy you things, to get you things that you know you want for yourself. So it doesn't even make a lot of sense to like not earn. So guys and girls definitely go out there, go out, start earning because even if you are not facing domestic violence, even if you are not trying to escape situations of abuse and harassment, even then it's very important for you to be in egalitarian relationships in your uh, personal space where you are contributing at least 50%, if not less, in the household, in the course, and all of those things. Because otherwise, you would just become dependent on the men in your lives you would be at their mercy and that's a very bad position to place yourself on okay so guys i think this was it for today i'm so thankful to the people who made it till the end and who saw this entire video of uh, you know women and the importance of women basically becoming financially independent because this is a topic that has been very close to my heart and this is something i believe in so if I talk about financial independence for myself, then this is something that it that is going to take me a couple of more years to reach because um because I'm still working, I'm still uh, trying to get to a place where I have a number, and that number is I think uh, touted to be somewhere around four crores. And uh, once I have that number, I can successfully say that I'm financially independent. But at the same point of time, that did not stop me from making a video on the 
like the one topic that I really, really believe in. So guys, thank you so much for being a part of this, for watching the video and uh, for uh, bearing with me on this cold, sunny January morning. Happy New Year and bye.